I'm so tired, you guys. But I did 11. I'm gonna do 12. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 12. My name is Franny, and today I'm going to do the 12 days of Christmas book tag. I had planned something else for today. That thing isn't happening. It'll happen in the future, maybe, hopefully. But, thank heavens, I found this other tag and since I'm doing 12 days of bookmas, because I'm doing bookmas, vlogmas, whatever for 12 days, I thought that this tag would be perfect to be done this year because it's 12 days of bookmas and this tag is 12 days of Christmas book tag. The 12 days of Christmas book tag. I told you guys I'm tired. I'm gonna say so much bullshit during this video. It's gonna be fun. So, I need to pull up the thing because I'm blind. There you go. Zoom in. 200. Thank you. A Partridge in a Pear Tree. Favorite standalone book. I just picked out a few that I have here in this house with me right now. I have Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. This is just a precious gem that everyone needs to read. Then I have The Messenger by Marcus Susak, another great book, even though it's not as famous as The Book Thief. Is that the other one? I think so. And then I have The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. I love Patrick Ness. I love his writing. I love his books. This is a standalone and it's very underrated because I think it was absolutely wonderful and it deserves love. My battery is dying. This is just fun. Two Turtle Doves, fictional OTP or favorite ship? Again, I have so many... Oh shoot, I forgot a book. Should I get up and get it? Yes, let's do that. Alice and Magnus from the Cassie Clare universe. This has Magnus's face. That's why I'm showing you this book. Nick and Charlie by Alice Osman because those two are adorable. If you haven't read Heartstopper, please do yourself a favor and do that. And then just to put some heterosexual stuff in this video, I'm gonna go with Juliet and Warner from the Shatter Me series by Tara Hamafi because we all remember what happened in chapter 62 in the second book in the series. This is the third one. I don't want to get up and get it again. <laughs> this is the one I had forgotten because my mind is gay. Three French Hands, favorite trilogy. Easy peasy. The Mistborn series. I don't have to say anything else. This trilogy is perfection. It's a masterpiece. It's mind-blowing. It's the best fantasy thing I've ever had and probably will ever read in my entire life. For Calling Birds, favorite fictional beast or creature? I'm gonna go with witches because I absolutely love witches, like A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. There's a wonderful TV show that's based on those books just chef's kiss. Also, I'm not gonna say wizards, but mostly like people that have like magical abilities, especially if they are related to nature. It's something that I just love in books whenever that happens. Five golden rings. Show five golden books. I don't have golden books, so I decided to pick up all the Cassie Clare's books that I have because they kind of have this golden shining effect to them and they're heavy. Six geese are laying rotten eggs. What's your favorite book? What's your least favorite book? Oh shoot, I forgot this one too. Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie or Vox by Christina Dolcher. Oh, that was so bad. Charlie's coming again. Hey buddy. I don't have time, love. The battery's dying. I need to hurry. Seven Swans are swimming. Show a book with water on the cover. Again, I have many. I have Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I don't know if you can see it, but the water is right here. Then I have the Italian edition of To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. It has the sea. I also have this beautiful um, Italian graphic novel that has sea, and there's so much sea in it, so I just wanted to show it to you guys. Eight Maids of Milking. What fictional food do you wish you could taste? I, I don't think I've read much about like weird particular fictional food apart from, and I'm gonna hate myself for saying it, the Harry Potter world, the food that they show in the movies just looks absolutely tasty and wonderful and delicious, so I wish I could try it, also because it has weird names. I like things with weird names. So I'm gonna... Charlie, what are you doing? He also is not liking my answer, so... I know, I'm upset as well. Nine Ladies Dancing. Favorite dance between two characters. Oh, there was this wonderful, wonderful, hot and steamy uh, dance 
scene in Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. Princess Flora and the other girl, shoot, what was her name? I'm blanking, sorry guys, I haven't slept for more than five hours in weeks. Charlie, come on buddy, help me out here. There was a wonderful dance scene in that book it was nice, it was very nice. I, I recommend you go listen to the audiobook because it was just good, steamy. Ten Lords, a leaping favorite book to movie adaptation. I could go with more um, predictable choices like Pride and Prejudice, which was absolutely perfection. I actually have the book, let me show you something. I have this edition of Pride and Prejudice that is just so cute. I, I love the drawings, I, I really do. It's a wonderful edition that I still have to read because I read it in Italian ages ago. I need to read this book. Anyway, so there's Pride and Prejudice. There's also Catching Fire. Shoot, I also have Catching Fire. Wait. You can see from this video what's the state of my mind in these. Charlie, my love, I'm filming. Don't move the camera, please. From this video, you can see the state in which my mind is in and has been for some time. Catching Fire, that was another um, wonderful, wonderful movie adaptation. But another one that I think is less known is Our Souls at Night by Kent Harf. And they made a Netflix movie where the main actress was Jane Fonda. I don't remember the name of the guy, but there was Jane Fonda in it and it was just so sweet and tender and intimate and I cried and honestly, I recommend it. It was so, so good. Eleven Piper's Piping, favorite book to movie adaptation, soundtrack. Ah, you guys. The Twilight soundtrack, then the Muse, all the Muse soundtracks, and then there was Ben Howard. Honestly, especially in Twilight and Eclipse, they really chose like incredible songs that fit what was happening in the movie. So you can like the movies, you can dislike the movies, you would be an idiot, but it's okay, I forgive you. But you have to admit that the soundtrack was just spot on. Last question. 12 drummers drumming, it's the end of the song. What's your favorite book ending? The ending of The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson was fucking mind blowing. It's like pure genius. But I was like, oh, that's what it was going for. It reminded me of the Bible. I I don't know how to explain it. If you have read it, maybe you know what I'm saying. If you don't know what I'm saying, it means you haven't read it, and I'm sorry for you. Just, just go pick it up and read it. Another ending that I thought was just bananas and perfect was the ending of An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. I mean, knock knock. If you have read it, if you have listened to the audiobook, you know, knock knock. It was wonderful. And that was it for this video. I made it, guys. I made it happen. I made it on time. I functioned somehow throughout this video and the camera is still alive. And hopefully I didn't forget to turn on the mic this time. I hope you enjoyed watching this rambling mess of a video or whatever it was. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below saying how crazy I look in this video because I really do. Um, also, I, I don't know who's gonna do it like a day before Christmas, but if you want, you're tagged because it's a tag. I hope you enjoyed. This is basically the last real video of this 12 a days book must thing that I've been doing in these past 12 days, a little bit more than a week, almost two weeks. I hope you had a good time and uh, I'll see you tomorrow with just a goodbye and wishes for a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, <laughs> more hugs. Bye.